That's considered a kinetic theory of gases. From physics, we remember the kinetic energy of a particle is one half mv squared and the kinetic energy is also equal to three halves times Boltzmann's constant times the temperature for a particle. Now this is the average kinetic energy for a group of particles. And Boltzmann's constant, K sub B, is just the ideal gas constant divided by Avogadro's number, the number in a mole, so that's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Since these both equal kinetic energy, I can set them equal to each other. And I'm going to solve for V squared. So this is the average velocity squared and since it's an average I'll put a bar over the V signify average. I'm going to take the square root of both sides of the equation And this is called the root mean square speed because we're taking the square root of the average velocity squared. That's how it gets its name. This gives us the average velocity of a single particle at a certain temperature. But in chemistry, we deal with moles of particles more commonly. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by Avogadro's number. So I'll we'll have 3RT over the molecular weight. Now R in this case, we're using different set of units. We're going to use units of joules per kelvin times mole. And a joule is a derived unit and consists of kilograms times meter squared per second squared. This is an energy unit. So if we want to know the average speed, of nitrogen at room temperature <clears throat> we can solve for the root mean square speed that's equal to 3 times r I'm going to expand my units for R. So I'm going to have kilograms meter squared per second squared. And also have times Kelvin times mole. And the temperature, since R has Kelvin in it as a unit, we need to have temperature in Kelvin. So that would be 298 Kelvin. And then we divide that by the molecular weight for nitrogen, which is 28 grams per mole, but since R has units of kilograms, we'll have to use a molecular weight in kilograms. So we have kilograms per mole for the molecular weight. Then we have to take the square root of all of that. 
So, the root mean square speed is equal to 